what's going on YouTube, this is Mattless Fitness and I've made this video to tell you about the fact that over the last three weeks I've made all kinds of strength gains. Okay, in case you are unaware, for the last uh, three weeks I've been doing Wendler 531. This is a powerlifting strength program designed to make you stronger. Um, it's very, very conservative in its kind of in the way it's set up, but this works well because it means you never miss any reps, any sessions. You get that consistency, that continuity, and that is one of the key factors when it comes to getting stronger. Now, I am doing a, a variation of this program. It's called Boring but Big. It should be called Really, Really Horrible. Um, essentially, you do your normal reps, which is either sets of five reps, sets of three reps, or sets of five, three, one reps. And then you follow that with five sets of 10 reps. Um, ordinarily, this will be at a reasonably low percentage, but because I'm a, a freak, I've decided to do a harder variation whereby you do it at your the percentage um, of your first working set. So for me, this is either 65, 70, or 75%, depending on the week. And it's especially in deadlifts and squats, it is very, very uncomfortable and unenjoyable. However, I feel like it's given me a massive foundation and it's obviously working because like I said, in these three weeks, I have made really, really decent, very pleasing strength gains. Now, what I've done is I've written my gains on a water bill and I'm gonna run you through them. So we've got the four lifts, obviously the deadlift, the bench press, the squat, and the overhead press. Right, starting with deadlift. In week one of Wendler, I did seven reps at 96 kilos which is 211 pounds. Um, and in week three, just gone, I did eight reps at 107.5 kilos, which is 237 pounds. Okay, so that's seven reps at 211, um, and now I'm doing eight reps at 237. So I'm very, very pleased with that improvement because obviously bench press doesn't give you a massive amount of kind of margin to improve because it's obviously small increments, but that's a pretty massive improvement in that space of time. I'm really, really pleased with that. Okay, deadlift. So in my first session for my, this is my plus rep set, so the, the set where you go to exhaustion, I managed uh, nine reps at 160 kilos, which is 352 pounds. And in the third week, the week just gone, I managed nine reps again, but this time at 170 kilos, which is 374 pounds. So the same number of reps, but a 22 pound improvement, which again, I'm really, really pleased with. Um, and I think that bodes well for the future with that lift. Now, squats. This is probably the improvement with which I am um, most pleased with. So in week one, I did eight reps at 122.5 kilos, which is 270 pounds. And in the week just gone, uh, three weeks, third week, I did eight reps at 137.5 kilos, which is 303 pounds. So again, it's the same number of reps, but it's a 33 pound improvement. And in that, week just gone, I felt like I had one or two reps more there, so yeah, I'm well pleased with that, and again, I think it bodes well hopefully for future development. And lastly, press. Now, this is not as exciting, it's very, I'm finding already that the increments you go up in are fairly small. Um, in week one, I did 11 reps at 50 kilos, which is 110 pounds, and the week just gone, I did nine reps at 55 kilos, so 121 pounds. So, that's, uh, two reps less at 11 pounds heavier. So I guess that equates to an improvement. I don't think it's a massive one, but I'm not expecting massive, you know, massively quick improvements in the press because it is a very, very kind of slow gainer. However, I still think it's progress and I do think it's going in the right way. Um, and I'm pretty desperate to improve that because like I've said in loads of videos previously, I feel like my press is fairly embarrassing. It's a very, it's definitely my weakest lift comfortably. So I do want to kind of sort that out as quickly as I can. On top of my strength gains, I've also made some intellectual gains, and I'm going to share one of those with you now. Did you know dreamt is the only word in the English language that ends in the letters MT? And that is that, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you as always tomorrow.